Okay guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video and it has been a while but I am back on YouTube. I'm going to be making uh, a bunch more videos in the coming weeks and months but today what I wanted to do uh, is start off my return to the channel with an apartment tour. Now this is something that's been requested on my channel for years um, but I never really had a place that I could say was done or ready exactly the way I wanted uh, because at least for the last four years I was in college and so uh, a college dorm room uh, isn't really the ideal aesthetic uh, living space and I really didn't have too much control over it but I do now because this is my apartment and um, I thought I would start by showing you guys around okay, this is when you enter the apartment as you guys can see as soon as you walk in uh, there's a little bit of a walk-in closet here I use this mostly as a coat rack uh, and so as you guys can see I probably I, like most of the things in here are just like crew necks and stuff like that and then um, I have an umbrella also. Up top, I have a couple different pairs of shoes. Those ones are shoes that I don't wear that much. And then at the bottom, uh, I have shoes that I wear a little bit more often. So moving on from that, let me shut that up here. Um, and this is probably like the least interesting place in the apartment, that is the bathroom. Um, as soon as you walk in, bottom left, I actually have just like a thing, probably like my cat's bathroom, I guess, is what I could call it. Um, sink like under sink storage i always like to have like some sort of like greenery so this is just like a fake plant it's not real um i do have some more real plants in the apartment but this one isn't because i definitely forget to water this yeah there's a big mirror on the wall which you know that is a license plate i got when i was in the bahamas of course this isn't a real license plate it's just like you know i think it says somewhere like not for real use or something on there but it was like a nice little like thing to remember my trip by I have um, a washer and dryer in unit, which is super nice. This isn't the most common thing in the world, I understand, so it is really, really convenient to have. When you walk in um, and like out of the bathroom um, and over here, the first thing you can see over here that's like tech related at all is my thermostat. Um, this is an Ecobee. I believe this is the Ecobee 3 Lite. Off the top of my head, I forget the exact model number. I just installed this because I didn't like the normal thermostat and this gave me a little bit more control like with my phone. Over here I actually have a pretty massive mirror. This just goes all the way up. This is actually from Ikea. I forget the name but if I remember I will definitely put it in the description of the video. Moving on from here, like my floor is uh, hardwood which is nice. The walls are like a, an off-white-ish color. Um, and. Starting with this here is, um, this is just a piece of artwork that I bought on, I think this was on Society6. Um, I really liked it, like, I like greenery and I like art, so um, this was cool. I had it framed, all the frames in this house have uh, glass, not plastic. I hate plastic frames, it just bothers me. Let's actually start over here with the bedroom and get that out of the way. Um, this is my bedroom, this area is carpeted um, as opposed to the hardwood um, and the rest of the apartment and that's actually really nice. Um, I really like, you know, like when you wake up in the morning, putting your feet down on the carpet is a lot nicer than straight on some wood. Uh, yeah, as soon as you walk in, this is my bed. Uh, this is a queen size bed and the mattress is from Ikea. I was thinking of going like the Casper or like Tuft & Needle, like internet mattress route, but honestly, like I just like a stiffer mattress um, and something that's a little bit you know, not as soft and plush uh, to support my back. Um, and I just went to the, I wanted to just go to a store and try it out. And so I really like this one um, from Ikea. Moving on from there, like my bedspread is just from, um, I think this is from Macy's. Uh, it isn't anything like super special. The material is kind of nice. It's very easy to keep clean, which is cool. Um, over here I have this like shelf. This is actually a pretty recent addition. Only went in a couple days ago. I actually had the Ikea Billy bookcase here. I'll put a picture of that on screen so you can see what it used to look like. I think it was just visually too much weight for this room. It looked a little weird and kind of blocked off a big chunk of the wall space. So I decided to sell that and ended up getting this, which I like a lot better. This was just on Amazon and it was something like $75, I think, with prime shipping. So came in pretty quick and I think it looks pretty good. It was also really easy to build. Um, at the bottom, I have two of these boxes from Ikea. This is where I store some of my camera accessories. On the shelf above it is where I keep like 
my camera, my lenses, and then also my um, Mavic Pro and the controller. One up from there, I have a couple of different books as well as like some candles. Um, this is one of the temperature sensors for the Ecobee. Um, I have one in my living room and then one in my bedroom just so that I can keep a more accurate um, look at what's going on temperature wise in the apartment. On top of that, I have my um, Lego Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite Lego builds of all time. And up top I have um, a Lego dump truck uh, and then also just like um, a house plant. This is a real plant and I do water it. Uh, inside of my closet, and this is like a, one of these slidey closets, uh, on this side I just have, um, you know, like my pants are all at the bottom and then I keep my shirts and stuff at the top. And then further up I have like the box for my smart speaker, some more Legos, um, you know, like a carry-on suitcase for flights. Uh, and you know, that's not stuff that I use every day. Uh, and so it's easier to just kind of tuck in here. If I open this up, um, there's just more shirts and stuff here. Uh, some more like luggage stuff in, in the back, a laundry basket. Uh, and then this shelf just has like more like storage. I have an extra backpack and stuff. Um, I actually made a video about this backpack a couple months ago. So if you're interested in checking out the air, uh, backpack review that is on my channel. Swinging around from here, um, this is actually my everyday backpack. This is the in-case icon backpack. This is what I take to work. Um, it's actually heavy as hell. Well, not the backpack, but all the stuff inside it. I have my Bose QC35 twos. I have a water bottle, um, accessories, my hard drive, like a bunch of stuff in here. Um, and it's being held up with a single um, command hook. So these things are actually super, super strong. Over here, I have kind of like my dresser storage area. I really like the color. It's pretty big and despite Despite being that big, it doesn't actually have a ton of storage, which is a little bit annoying, but I think it looks really good and it matches like the rest of my apartment's look very well. Um, and really, I just have so much inbuilt storage in the apartment that this is just kind of like a nice to have thing. Um, at the top, I just have like socks and stuff and, you know, like shorts and things like that. Um, this is kind of cool. I have my um, degree from the Rhode Island School of Design. I graduated a couple months ago. This is actually a fake plant. And then this is like, this is actually, this cup was made by my friend Hannah. So she gave me that, which was really nice. And I use it to keep like a bunch of pens and things. Um, this is just like a little thing that my mom gave me. So when your mom gives you something, you put it up. Uh, this is my vacuum cleaner. I just got it today, actually. Um, it is the Dyson V11 um, animal. And I just like docked it on the wall to charge. This thing is insane. I actually really, really love it. If you're looking for a new vacuum cleaner, um, I couldn't recommend this enough. Looking out my window, there's just like, there's actually kind of annoyingly some construction going on outside, but the windows are all soundproof, so you can't hear anything, which is cool. So it has actually been nice to just see this entire building take shape, like right in front of my eyes. You can kind of see a little bit around the street and stuff, um, and you can see more from the living room. The one thing that I really dislike about this apartment, and it's really the only thing I dislike about this apartment, is that concrete column pillar thing and then there's another one in the living room right there. All the apartments don't have it, it's just the corner apartments, and I guess it's the trade-off you have to make if you want a corner unit. So finally, let's kind of get into the area that's maybe the most visually interesting, the area that I spend the most time in when I'm at home, um, and kind of the area that I like liked and enjoyed putting together the most. So we've already taken a look at this piece of artwork here, um, and let's walk into the living room and I'll show you the rest of it. So that's kind of what the layout looks like. You walk in through this like area here, I have the mirror there, um, and actually having the mirror there is really nice because like when you're sitting back here, um, it kind of gives you the visual impression of more space because that hallway is actually a little narrow, so that's actually kind of nice to have right there. And then also it makes sense because you know, like grab your jacket, put your shoes on, uh, take a look in the mirror, and then you can walk right out. So if we walk into the living room, um, we'll just take a look at, I'll start from here. Um, actually, for those of you who don't know, this is my cat Nugget. He's um, just about four months old now. He has an Instagram and you can follow him there if you want. He's super cute and also very annoying. So um, make sure to check him out. So this is the Ikea Coarp chair. It's K-O-A-R-P. It comes in a number of different colors. Um, and the covers are actually removable and interchangeable. So if you wanted to change this out for like a heather gray or something, you absolutely could. I liked the blue, um, at least when I bought it now, it's starting to feel a little bit weird. Um, so I might try and get another cover or maybe just get another chair. Uh, this is just like one of Ikea's like faux sheepskin things. I think it looked nice to just put on there as an accent. And then this pillow, I think is from Target. 
I just forget. So that's just there again, like kind of like as an extra accent thing. On top of that is actually a picture of um, my dog. So this was, uh, my mom actually commissioned an artist to make this for me. My dog's very much alive. I know this picture, sometimes people make it sound like, oh, it's in memory or something. He is alive. This is just a really, really beautiful um, portrait of him. And it was done super well. So I have this framed and up here too. Actually, totally forgot to mention, in my bedroom, I have these three um, Porsche prints, uh, and these are from uh, Motive Artworks. This dude makes amazing art. I have another piece of his artwork outside, and I'll show you that in a second. But for those of you who are wondering, these are this is all three of these are from Motive Artworks. This is the kitchen space. It's kind of nice having this like big open area and not having like a divider here. Although that would be convenient for, you know, like if you want bar stools and stuff, but I just like having the open space. I think um, the least visual disruptions in an open space, the better. It just lends itself to having a much more open and airy feel to the apartment. So as soon as you enter the kitchen, over here on the left, I have my um, dishwasher. This is just like built into the unit that came with it. Um, this coaster is a pack of a couple of them that I got from Target. It's like half wood and half stone, um, and I really dig these. They're like all over the apartment. This candle's from Yankee Candle. It just helps make the kitchen smell nice, like when you're when I'm cooking, which isn't very often, but I do like the smell. Um, this Lego set is actually one that my buddy gave me for my birthday like two years ago, and I still haven't built it, so hopefully this weekend. Um, this piece of art is actually, my aunt made this for me. Her name is Pranita Dutt. Um, you can find her work probably linked in the description. She's a Delhi artist on Instagram. It's a really, really beautiful piece of um, work, and I think it really adds a lot to my living room and my entire apartment. In the actual kitchen, I don't really have too much going on. Um, these are just like the, you know, like dirty dishes and clean dishes sink, or I guess the opposite. Mason jar, and then it looks like my cat knocked over the Ecobee like temperature sensor. This one's like for this area of the house. This thing is from Ikea. Uh, it's just to keep like my spatulas and stuff in. This, I forget where this is from, but I just have like a large red onion and a lemon in it. This is like a little mini cutting board that my buddy gave me. The same one who actually gave me that. So different years birthday presents. You can see how things change. College student birthday present and like adult living in your apartment birthday present. This is a cutting board, so I don't forget to cook and eat things. Paper towels, George Foreman grill, because I like making like paninis and stuff. I have some cups and things. Um, it's funny, like, again, my mom actually got me the like butt first coffee thing, and so I turned this into like a coffee themed area. The funny thing is, I don't even drink coffee, so it's kind of ironic. Here's Nugget again. He is like, he just shows up wherever he wants, honestly. like. I've tried to explain to him that this area is off limits, but I just kind of have to live with it and clean the apartment as much as I can. He's really cute, so at least that's nice. Electric stovetop, oven, a ton of storage, which is super, super nice. Uh, this trash can is from Ikea. Uh, that's one of Nugget's toys. Um, this, I forget, what brand is that? Hamilton Beach? Yeah, probably Hamilton Beach. It's just like one of the cheap toasters, I don't know, like, I'm not too picky about my toast. Microwave also built into the unit, which is super cool. This is, uh, I wasn't even expecting this. My friend Irene actually made these. Uh, she like pressed these uh, fruit and sent me this as like a kind of like a surprise present and it fit so perfectly in the kitchen. Uh, and I like having art everywhere, so this was super, super nice. Um, I have a window here, which is nice for like when you're doing the dishes, you can look out at, um, that is the 405. These are just bridges. Yeah, the fridge also built into the unit. I don't have too much going on in here. Um, the freezer, also not too much going on. Ton more storage. I don't want to open this one because this has uh, my cat's food in it. If I open it, he's gonna run right in there. But again, so thankful for the crazy amount of storage that this unit has. It's like crazy. It like helps keep everything super clean. Um, this is like actually, I think technically a nightstand, but I kind of wanted something to go in this area. And you know, so if people are sitting on the couch, they can put their drink or like snacks or something in there or like on there, which is nice. This is like the rear left channel speaker from my um, Vizio 5.1 setup. I know it's upside down, but this was the way to mount it on the stands. I honestly forget what 
the model number is for these, but they sound pretty good, especially for the price. Um, so if I find them, I'll link them in the description below. This is the IKEA Freehetten couch. Um, this is basically the couch that everyone has. Uh, and I kind of want to get rid of it. I know like it sounds like a lot of my furniture is like, oh, I bought it and I kind of want to get rid of it. But I had guests when I moved into this apartment. And so like my brain was kind of just thinking from the point of view of like, hey, how do I accommodate these people? Um, and so I kind of ended up picking up furniture that served both the purpose of furniture, but also uh, being able to keep more people at home. Uh, but now that they're gone, I realize that it isn't maybe the most practical or the best looking for my apartment. So maybe this will change. It's couches are pretty expensive. So um, I'm not actively looking to get a different couch, but if the opportunity came around that somebody wanted to buy this or whatever, um, I'd probably sell it and get something else if I could. These cushions are uh, from Ikea. The back ones are from Ikea, the, or like the blue ones are from Ikea, and the yellow ones are from Target. Um, this like throw blanket thing is from uh, Aldo, I think. There's the rear speaker. That's the Ikea Hector lamp, um, and it just has like a bulb, I think from Home Depot in it. Um, and again, like one of the things I love about this apartment is just the amount of natural light it gets. Um, it's eastward facing, which is awesome. Um, gets a ton of light during the day. Um, you can't see it super well, but those are actually the Cascades Mountains. Uh, and Mount Rainier is actually, you can see it, I mean, not today, but you can normally see it right there, which is really, really nice. As for the rest of the apartment, this is kind of what the layout looks like. This rug is from Wayfair. I had a blue rug until a couple days ago, but I really wasn't feeling the look. I had that to match this stuff but I don't even like this stuff that much anymore. So this is actually super great. Sold the blue rug for $90, got this for hundred. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, and then here of course is like my desk setup. Um, this is not the Marcus chair. This is Ikea's like replacement to the Marcus chair. It's actually not super comfortable, but it, uh, it helps me keep a better posture. So I do use it. This is uh, the Ikea Linmon top with, I forget what this is called, but those are the Alex drawers. And those are in the same color as like the dresser storage thing in my bedroom. So there's some color matching consistency there. Um, I have the subwoofer for my Herman Miller, not Herman Miller, my Harman Kardon um, Soundsticks 3 and I have the right channel here and the left channel there. This is my new LG ultra wide monitor. I forget the model number, but it's one of their like new USB-C ultra wides. Um, this desk mat is from uh, ULX store, Ultralinks on YouTube. Uh, it's not, I mean like not to shit on the guy who made it, but it's like not super great quality, especially for the price, but it does look good. So, uh, and it's not real leather. This is like leather at. This is the Logitech MX Vertical Mouse, the Magic Keyboard 2, and the Magic Trackpad 2. That's my iPhone 10, um, and I have my um, iPad mini, I think second generation? It doesn't have Touch ID, so second gen. Um, my glasses, and like, this is just like some warranty stuff from the Dyson vacuum cleaner. I literally just opened it up making, before making this video. That's my 2018 Retina MacBook Pro. It's on the Satechi um, uh, laptop stand in space gray just to match. And then I have like this uh, transcend SD card reader because um, my MacBook doesn't read SD cards, which is really dumb. It's a pro machine. This is a doodle my, uh, or like a piece of art my friend Paul made for me a couple years ago, had it framed. I, I really love it. It's, I, know, I mean, I know it's a little bit out there, but he's a great artist. Um, this is another plant. I got that one from Home Depot and I need to get like a new like pot for it. I'm getting like a, like a, white concrete pot, which I think will look good. That lamp is from Target. This skate deck is uh, also from Motive Artworks. This is an Audi RS5 with uh, on some sick BBS wheels. This is mounted using like an invisible mounting system, which I bought on Amazon. Pretty well priced for what it is. Now this here is my TV. This is a 60 inch uh, Vizio 4K HDR. Um, I think this is the V-Series TV. It's actually super, super nice. It's also really thin. Um, the Vizio soundbar goes with the speakers in the back. And actually, didn't show you this. Uh, the subwoofer for the speakers is right there. This box is just for the springs on my car. This, I forget what this is called. This might be the Ikea Besta unit, but I, I'm probably wrong. Um, this is kind of like my TV unit. I have a couple of art books down here. So like the graphic standard manual for NASA, graphic standard manual for MTA. Uh, and then a couple of like watch books, uh, Rubik's Cube, which is not solved, Xbox One S, uh, and some more books. 
I also have my um, Xbox, I think this is called the Pro Controller. I really love it, I think it feels a hell of a lot nicer than, it's like the white plastic controller that comes in the box. Um, I'm not a big gamer, but I just like the controller. Um, and I work at Microsoft, so I get like hardware 50% off, so it's actually a pretty good deal. The soundbar is part of the 5.1 system. There's two tweeters in here, uh, two tweeters back there, and then the sub, um, and then, you know, the remotes for uh, the TV and for the sound system. But yeah, that really kind of covers it. That is most of the apartment. I will again try and link as much as I can, also Motive Artworks, um, in the description, but this is it. I live in, um, well, I'm not gonna tell you exactly where I live, but this is in uh, downtown Bellevue, Washington, about 10 minutes outside of Seattle. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to drive into downtown Seattle from here. Um, and it's right between um, Redmond, Washington and Seattle, Washington. So yeah, that's a quick look at my apartment. And uh, I hope to see you guys back on the channel with um, a bunch of new and interesting content. Um, yeah, hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.